Hello everybody, Kimosabi here, coming at you with another video. So this one's off of USA Today webpage. Also, the source, 24-7 Wall Street, is a USA Today content partner offering financial news and commentary. Its content is produced independently of USA Today. Write up by Samuel Stebbins and Evan Coleman, 24-7 Wall Street, published 2.25 p.m. ET, February 21st, 2019, with a topic of military spending, 20 companies profiting the most from war. There was a 1.1% increase in global military spending in 2017, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. The global rise was driven partially by a 9.6 billion hike in the U.S. arms and expenditure. The United States is the world's largest defense spender by a wide margin. Though it is yet unclear what the growing arms investment will mean for the international relations, major defense contractors around the world stand to benefit. Total arms sales among the world's 100 largest defense contractors topped $398 billion in 2017 after climbing for the third consecutive year. Notably, Russia, one of the countries with the fastest growing militaries over the last decade, became the second largest arms producing country, overtaking the United Kingdom for the first time since 2002. The United States' position as the top arms producing nation in the world remains unchanged and for now unchallenged. The United States is home to five of the world's ten defense contractors, and American companies account for 57% of total arms sales by the world's 100 largest defense contractors based on SIPRI data. Maryland-based Lockheed Martin, the largest defense contractor in the world, is estimated to have $44.9 billion in arms sales in 2017 through deals with the governments all over the world. The company drew public scrutiny after a bomb it sold to Saudi Arabia was dropped on a school bus in Yemen, killing 40 boys and 11 adults. Lockheed's revenue from the U.S. government alone is well more than the total annual budgets of the IRS and the Environmental Protection Agency combined. 24-7 Wall Street Review data provided by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute to identify companies profiting from the war. Companies were ranked based on arms sale revenue chinese companies were not considered due to lack of sufficient data total 2017 revenue and arms sales were provided by SIPRI profits and total sales came from fiscal year 2017 annual financial disclosures filed with the US scrutinies and exchange commission or published independently employee counts are the most recent available estimates and are in some cases from corporations 2018 financial disclosures number 20 textron country united states arm sales 4.1 billion total sales 14.2 billion profit 1.2 billion employees 35,000 textron based in pro Vidence, Rhode Island, is one of 11 American companies to rank along the world's largest defense contractors. The company ranks 20th among companies profiting the most from war in 2017, with $4 billion in arms sales through its subsidiaries, which include Bell Helicopter and Textron Systems. Though the majority of Textron revenue comes from deals in the United States and Canada, the company also does business in the Middle East, Asia, and Europe. Textron defense products include armored vehicles, unmanned aircraft, and attack helicopters. While it is one of the largest defense companies in the world, over 70% of Textron's revenue comes from commercial deals. The company's non-military subsidiary aircraft brands include Cessna and Beechcraft. Night number 19. Naval Group Company, France. Arm sales, 4.1 billion. Total sales, 4.2 billion. Profit, 36.5 billion. Employees, 13,429. French industrial conglomerate Naval Group sold 4.1 billion worth of arms in 2017, among most among the most of any company worldwide. One of the oldest companies on this list, Naval Group's business activities date back to the early 17th century when the group built the French Navy's Mediterranean and Atlantic fleets. Today, Naval Group is a leading provider of naval defense systems in Europe. Some of the major innovations throughout the company's history include the launch of the Liguori, the first ironclad steam frigate, and in 1858, the launch of Le Redoutable, the first ballistic nuclear submarine. 
1967. In recent years, some of the company's most lucrative contract work was included. Ha, sorry, has included the delivery of the Frem Taha Mishar frigate to the Egyptian Navy, completed in 2015, and a commitment to build 12 submarines for the Royal Australian Navy, awarded in 2016. Number 18, Leodos, country United States, arms sales 4.4 billion, total sales 10.2 billion, profit 242 million employees, 31,000, nearly half of the 10.2 billion in revenue of Virginia-based technology company Leodos in 2017 came from its defense and intelligence division. The company's services included IT key infrastructure, data analytics, cybersecurity, logistics, surveillance, vehicle and equipment development and maintenance and consulting. Its defense clients include the U.S. Air Force, Army, Army, Navy, and NATO. Though the majority of the company's revenue comes from contracts outside of the defense industry, the company's history with the federal government goes back almost to its founding in 1969. The following year, Leodos won a contract with the Defense Nuclear Agency, now known as the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. Number 17, Rolls-Royce, country, United Kingdom, arms sales, 4.4 billion, total sales, 19.3 billion, profit, 5.3 billion, employees, 50,000. Rolls-Royce Holdings is separate from Rolls-Royce Motor Cars, a luxury automobile manufacturer, having sold the Rolls-Royce brand name and logo to German group BMW in 1998, while Rolls-Royce Holdings sold $4.4 billion worth of military products and services in 2017, making it the 17th largest defense contract in world weapons manufacturing accounts for a relatively small share of the company's total revenue. Today, the largest share of Rolls-Royce Holdings revenue comes from civil aerospace, followed by power systems and defense aerospace, marine, and nuclear technologies. Some of the Rolls-Royce major defense contracts in 2017 include renewals with the U.S. Department of Defense for supporting approximately 3,000 engines on aircraft such as the C-130 Hercules and the T-45 Goshawk, and engine orders from the Japanese Self-Defense Force for its new V-22 Osprey fleet. And number 16. Honeywell International, country United States, arm sales 4.5 billion, total sales 40.5 billion, profit 1.7 billion, employees 114,000. New Jersey based Honeywell International sells its software and accounts consulting services in a range of industries including healthcare, oil and gas manufacturing, and industrials, and in addition, a defense. Defense contracts accounted for about 11% of the company's 2017 revenue. For decades, Honeywell has had a contract with the U.S. Army to develop longer-range weapon systems, operating systems for unmanned aerial vehicles, and missile navigation systems. The company has also manufactured over 6,000 T-55 engines, which the Army uses in its iconic heavy lift Chinook helicopter. The company has an ongoing partnership with the Army for maintaining and overhauling the engines. Honeywell has a defense has defense contract with foreign governments as well, inking a deal with the UK in 2016 to install navigation systems in the British Army's Ajax armored fighting vehicles. And I'm just about to run out of uh, minutes on this because it's an enhanced uh, lighting camera app. So I'm going to continue this in part two and, and three. It should be about three parts. And we'll catch you in that. Thanks.